playing. Excellent. Well, Aspen is such an excellent patient. We're, we're going to film the rest of her. We've, we're already halfway done with her chiropractic exam, but she's so good. We're going to, um, you know, film her so that uh, other animals can view this film and know how to behave on a chiropractic exam. Hi, Aspen. We just assessed all the joints on this side of her body. Good girl, Aspen. And now we just roll her over because she's so good. And Aspen is um, actually, you know, 11 years old, but she looks fantastic. So many of our retrievers come into us uh, looking very old at eight, you know, and being dead by nine or so. So it's sad, but she's in pretty good shape. And this is the flat scapular bone. It's just about like my hand laying flat against the body. And that's why we say don't ever pick your dogs up by their front legs because there's no attachment except muscles underneath the scapula to the body wall. And in Aspen's case, things are sliding nicely. Here, we can, we can get good movement. It's limited yeah. movement. You don't want to rip their shoulder off. This is the shoulder joint. Good girl, Aspen. And she can fully extend that, which is really good for 70. I couldn't get her to go all the way uh, back that way like my limber puppy, but, but she's extending and flexing that joint really nicely. And there's no heat or swelling in any of her joints. And we're adjusting her little toes, which, you know, when you crack your knuckles, I, I uh, recently found out it actually causes endorphin release in the brain, which is a form of opiate for the brain. And we do the same thing, check all the joints here. She's so good. Uh, normally, I don't have the pleasure of having somebody laying here calmly. I have to work my way around it with them standing, jumping around, whatever. So this is great. Hey, Aspen, honey. And then before, when she was uh, standing up, we checked each and every one of the joints. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we checked each and every one of the joints in the neck. There are seven cervical vertebrae in all mammals. That's what helps define us as mammals. The uh, giraffe has as many neck vertebrae as the, as the mouse. And um, anyway, so each one of those was good. And then she had a little sore area in here that we're going to maybe take care of here. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes when you adjust one area, um, the other areas, you know, self-adjust. And this is not typically how you do it. She would normally be standing, but that's okay. We can do it. So... Um, just palpating to see what's going on here. Um, good girl. You are so brave, honey. Good girl. Okay, T12. 